Soybean growers can spend 15 to 20 or even as much as $40 an acre on pre-emergence herbicides. But that investment can help determine the success of weed control for the remainder of the season. The University of Arkansas System Division of Agriculture's Tommy Butts explains why in this video from the virtual Arkansas Rice and Soybean Field Day. One of the first questions I get or one of the first comments I get back about these treatments is, well, that gets to be really expensive, right? You know, 18, 20, 25 dollars an acre treatment for some of these. And especially if we're doing the Trivents and Zidra, you know, that maybe is upwards more of like 40 dollars an acre. And what I always like to say is, you know, I understand that that's, you know, real expensive up front. But as you can see, you know, again, not recommending one herbicide application and walking away, but we have really significant good control here from one pre-emergence application. And although it's really expensive on the front end, using these pre-emergence herbicides, getting them properly activated, it can save us money on the back end by either saving us a post-emergence application or it also allows us to be more timely with our post-emergence applications and gives us some more flexibility there with our windows to get back out there and spray our second applications. So again, picking a really stout, effective pre-emergence herbicide program like this is not only crucial for the weed control aspect, especially the early season weed control where all our yield is developed, but it also can give us more time and flexibility to, to get out there with our second shot and make sure that we're applying in a more timely fashion just like our sports poster recommends and our sports campaign recommends. So the way I wanted to highlight this is we've got several trials here that were all planted on the same day and they were all planted to the same variety. It's an Extend Flex variety. So again, all three of these trials I'm gonna show were the same, planted the same day to the same variety. The difference is, is our, our uh, row widths, but also our early season management techniques, whether we use pre-emergence herbicides or not. And so we're gonna show the difference here in both soybean growth, but also our overall weed control. So in this trial that I'm standing in right here, this was a 30 inch row spacing with our soybeans. And we did implement uh, you know, pre-emergence herbicide programs. And so you'll notice throughout here, the soybeans have grown quite well. You know, they're getting close to my waist height. They've nearly completely canopied. We still have a little bit to go. We haven't completely shaded out the ground, but they're getting there. They're very, you know, they're getting close at this point. And you'll notice that with those pre-emergence herbicide programs, as well as the, the you know, following up with post-emergence programs, you can see around me, the soil is, is still really clean, even where the crop hasn't completely canopied yet. Okay, so early season weed control is a big benefit, even though we're on 30 inch row spacings, which you know, can, we consider to be a little bit wider row spacing, we're still being clean and we're almost canopying to shade out that ground and make sure that we don't have any other seeds germinate from sunlight hitting that ground. So in contrast, now in this next trial that we're standing in, again, we're still on 30 inch drill spacing, so still kind of wider rows. But what we also didn't have here was a pre-emergence herbicide, so we didn't have that right early season weed control that we did in that last trial. Now here you'll notice our soybeans have been hindered by their growth. They're held back a little bit. They're really only just a little bit over knee high on me. You can see we're much farther from canopy closure with these beans because we didn't have that. We had that early season competition compared to our previous trial we looked at where we had those pre-emergence herbicides. They didn't have that early season competition. Those soybeans were able to grow uninhibited and really put on a lot more growth and canopy quicker. 